feeling that uh, we would have others speak as the spirit moves them. The spirits indeed have been moving throughout this whole affair today. And the floor is now available to anyone else who, would, who we might have overlooked who would like to state something. Uh, Rosemary, did I see you going over your shoulder to Kathy uh, Robinson Perko? drama they always say those who those who can't do it teach it you know and so maybe that's the truth here um, but um, my mom used to always say here I go that I was a mutant that my kidneys were behind my eyes so <laughs> when I see you all I can't help but cry you're all so beautiful and my grandmother loved you all so much. If she were here, she used to hold me on her knee, and she used to tell me about all of you. And I just can't help but be overwhelmed when I think about how much love she had for all of you, and how anxious she would have been to be here and to hold you all in her arms. And so, because I am a mutant and because I cry too much while <laughs> I'm there. <laughs>
my brothers Pat, Jack, and Jean for assisting with the arrangement. Their address books, their knowledge of family affairs, and their counsel uh, were of great value to us. Uh, Jack and Pat have arranged a fine meal, which we're only five minutes late for. And I hope it's not like the guy who came home for supper and his wife said, I fixed a special treat tonight. Bird nest soup, Strasbourg goose liver pate, pheasant under glass, gooseberry pie, followed by Napoleon brandy and Cuban cigars. And he said, thank you, dear, but I had that for lunch today. <laughs> I also want to state that the gentleman over in the far corner is a professional maker for videotapes. And in this little collection uh, we're collecting for will be covered the base cost of the tape. However, if anyone would like to see chronicle of this event on videotape, he will leave his cards out. And for $15, uh, you can communicate with him and he will give you a copy of that tape. Uh, I, I think, Tom. Uh, engineer uh, from the uh, Lyons household will now speak to us. It's going to be a short speech. My name is Tom Lyons. I'm Frank's brother. Frank, uh, we have an award for you. <laughs> this is an award to a fellow who has spent a lot of time organizing this reunion. He had a lot of help from the committee, but he did the major part of the work. He's a city dude now, but in his early days he helped on the farm. In those days, there were not many conveniences, and on cold, wintry nights, it was hard to get up out of a cozy, warm bed and take a walk. So we have a token here of a reminder of the good old days, and we'd like you to share with everybody. <laughs> I have an excellent imagination. Imagine what this is. <laughs> was the port and they came first to Boston, 3,521 miles and eventually on to New York City. And after a period of time of building the railroads, they moved to Iowa and their sons eventually moved to South Dakota. 4,720 miles, 21 miles from County Waterford where we all began. Now you're older than that. 
got things to do. Mickey, I need at least one hand to do it. Thank you. 